Horizon is literally the most that I've played when, like, all, ever since I started playing with the closed beta. I've always been on and off with this game. So I'm going first, and this is Patricidal Fury. And these are very smart players I'm playing against. It's really tough. They always manage to find a, get, to find a way to get rid of my um, Rowdy Dorms rather early. Which does suck, but it is what it is. Late armor Drakkar there, kind of. Well, I wouldn't say late, but see, I want to target this armor Drakkar with the Dwarven Discoverer instead of the Longship. Actually, I don't, cause I'd rather have not have the Dwarven Berserkers bo bo boost them. I couldn't speak English there for a second. So they didn't, they didn't even want to target him anyway, okay. It's probably Svalbard Cultists here coming out. <clears throat> oh, Svalbard Butcher, okay. Alright, that gets rid of one problem. Unfortunately, I don't have tempering, which does suck. Yeah, there it is. I have our lines. Um, I think I'll play one more Dwarven Berserker. And I think I'll pass here. I don't think he'll. <laughs> it's the thing is, I have to, I have to prepare now for people not drive passing round one or no, round two, I should say. Like I really should have my hand equipped at all times. So. Oh, that's fine. Only two power. I'm not worried about two power. Um, I could play my Mahakam guard. Twenty one, twenty three, twenty five, twenty six. That's twenty six. What? Get rid- hit this priest or something. Okay, it doesn't matter. Just not the armor. As long as it wasn't the armor. Actually, he probably won't drive past round 2 because of Patricidal Fury. Because Patricidal Fury is actually still pretty strong. Hey, Sosa. I'm doing fine. How are you? I mean, I went up to rank 3. That's what you mean by uptime. <laughs> I don't have that com com command. I don't do commands yet, by the way, actually. I have- I have- I'm still learning. <laughs> What's your play? He does get 2 power per turn. Oh, wow. I can still pass. Okay, awesome. I can still pass. Actually, no. If he passes, he wins. Oh, I'm dumb. I hope he doesn't know that, but I think he knows that. Ah, he knew it. Ah, I'm dumb. <laughs> hey, Jane. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Unless you're, unless you're not talking to me. Did, I miss, did you miss a lot of stream? Nah, he only missed like an hour 41 minutes. You didn't miss too much. I hope he doesn't... Actually, even if he dry passes, it's fine. I have Gabor. But I don't think he's going to dry pass. He's going to try to play me. He's going to try and suck my deck out.
I have to try to put myself into a favorable-ish situation here. Oh, he dry passed. Okay, awesome. I almost, I almost put him in the range row. Oh my gosh, that, that, I had a, like, it's like I skipped a beat. You want to play Skellige, but I heard it's the worst? If you can pull off Socrus and, um, Covenant and the Steel combo pretty well, then you'll be fine, honestly. <laughs> I don't really need you anymore. I don't need you here either. Okay, this is actually, this is a decent hand to work with. Yeah, no, I think this is this is actually a pretty decent hand to work with. Yeah, but honestly though, like for Skellige, the real the only real like really good hero power is um what do you call that card? Uh not card, hero power. Uh second win. That's what it's called. Alright. Looks like I'm gonna have to set up here. He might have delirium now that I think about it. He might have delirium. Yeah, he might, or he might even have Surrender. Yeah, it's, who cares? I don't care anymore. Or he's gonna go for it. Um, I might even try and summon, I actually might do Dwarven Berserkers instead. Nah, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm getting greedy. This is probably gonna cost me, but I'm getting greedy. This, this, I think I'm getting greedy here. This deck list looks familiar. I think I I think I made a deck list like this on one of my videos. I'm not saying he got it from me, but it's like it just seems familiar because I tried making a Patricidal Fury deck once. Yeah, he, if he has surrender, I'm gonna cry. Okay, st stunning blow is fine. I'm okay with stunning blow actually. Cause I have a defender. That was his second stunning blow though, so he he's out of stunning blows. He also used his Hemdal relatively early, so that's also good in my part. But again, a card like Sur uh, Surrender or Lacerate, they're gonna get me. Big time. And I mean big time. Another problem is Patricidal Fury also fills up my board, which is also going to cause me big problems. One Regis and it's his win. Yeah, that that's also that that also is a thing. That is also a thing. Grimmest. So he's gonna try and target down my dwarven mercenaries. I see. Not a moment's pace. If I am gonna hit with, get hit with Grimace, then or not Grimace, the uh, what the frick's his name? Regis. Then what the surrender do? It's a stronger lacerate. Like you remove two armor from all units on a row and then damage them all by two. So it renders armor pretty obsolete. Might have to play Zoltan Warrior here. Yeah, I am gonna play Zoltan here. I'm up by 40, but that's no reason to celebrate yet. He still has he is ahead by two cards. I had to build this. Um I have to I had to build this many points. Heck, I don't even know if it's going to be enough. He 
He's been focusing on my engines. Raiding fleet. That's that's a solid. That's solid. And armored Drakkar, which is gonna get destroyed. This is gonna get destroyed. Actually, do I have enough to destroy it? I don't think I do. No, I don't have enough to destroy it. Shoot. That's a pity. Yeah, because he's going to be up at 7. But I have to do... I have to do my best, though. He might... He might... Oh, does he have... Actually, if he has... um, What's that card? If he has Covenant of Steel, it's going to get destroyed. You win this up by a lot. I don't take anything for granted. I don't wanna... I don't like assuming things that quickly. He still has his hero power, too. Aw, oh, that sucks. He is gonna get rid of one of my engines. It's time. Yep. Can't do anything about that. Yep, this is gonna be well protected, then. Baba Butcher, okay, that's fine. And he gets his armor back. Exciting. I don't have a target for Zoltan yet. He hasn't played a big unit. I need a big unit, man. I need to see a big unit for me to play my Zoltan. What's unfortunate is Zoltan has to be played on the melee row for this to work. And if he kind of like mugs it up, then with, with Patricidal Fury, then it doesn't matter. I guess it's gonna have to be on a Svalblood Totem, huh? He's just refusing to play his... Actually, he might put his Arnjolf on the melee roll so he gets the full 11 points. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good way to pick up the steam. Where are you putting him? Cause I can I can I think I can destroy Arnjolf here. But that's if he doesn't destroy many of my dwarves. Okay. That's just fine. That's actually just fine. We're gonna damage. Oh it doesn't I don't think it matters who you damage. I make the laws here. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you damage. Oh, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm one dwarf short. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that bites. Oh, that bites. That actually bites. I mean, I, I, I don't think he's gonna win, but I don't know. I, I just wanted an, I just want an exclamation point. I was one dwarf short. I cry. He probably has. No, that's Varanjir. Oh, I'm great greatsword. I was like, dang. Oh, Morkvark? Oh, shoot. Actually... Yeah, no, it's still not enough. Oh. Now, now I can say I won. Ooh. I think I've had a decent record against, um... Squiatel. It's just, it's really just a matter of, uh, having him use up his pretty strong engines, but we'll see what happens here. I need Monroe or Call of the Forest here. I got Monroe. Awesome. Uh, I'm probably going to start off with the company. Something I've noticed is, uh, most, most Mystic Elves like to play their tactical advantage after 
and that's not that good of idea because if they can get rid of their if they can get a one rowdy dwarf they're obviously gonna go for a two and monroe if you transform one if you transform the seven then it's gonna reset which is not good oh that's fine that's fine this thing's getting i mean is, is there a way from damage no i don't think so there shouldn't be. This thing doesn't avoid armor. I mean, if he has AT, AT would do it. Whoa. Wow. What's with people and... What's with people and wasting their Philippas? I don't get it. Is this, is this a common thing now? Like, do people use up their Philippus early or something? I mean, I get what he was doing. He was trying to get a thing for his uh, Kate Wenny Revenant, but like... But I also don't think it's worth playing um, Dwarven Skirmisher on it either. Because this is a fi this is literally a 50-50, and if I don't get it and I play Mahakam Volunteers, I might be doomed. Ah, forget it. The fact that he played Philippa, I'm just going to risk the 50-50. Come on, snipe. Never, never. Oh, oops. Did I shake my computer? I did. <laughs> that was weird. Prince on Sais? Is he really doing all this just to get that extra covenant? Have you no honor? Wow. The things people will do nowadays. That is insanity. I mean, it's not. I mean, I'm o I'm obviously okay with it, but I don't know. I find Unsays to be a pretty decent card, like especially if you combo it with boosts. Maybe he's choosing to do Ar the Aratusa Adet, unless this is the decklist that doesn't run that, because it could be the way it looks. It's probably not. But... Can dwarves fight? The fish person leaks. I don't know. I I still I still thought that was a bit of a shot that he did that. Philippa and Unsay is two really good cards. The good news is I got to avoid using my Zoltan Warrior, actually, which is great. So. Queen Adalia? Wow. Really good cards here. There are things in the universe of oh, which that's, even that's, the that's sages fine. have not dreamt. That's honestly fine. I am so passing, though. King, this is so worth the pass to me. Freedom! Even better of a pass if I get Gabor next one and he decides to dry pass. That'd be even cooler. But in the off chance that he doesn't, I have to sort of prepare my hand to... So this does tell me he does have a Redanian Archer in his hand. So... He, had, he, has, mad, he has mad charge? I need a spell though. I don't have a spell. This this worries me actually. Not having a spell does worry me here. Okay, call the force is fine. I need Novigrad. Great Oak is fine, but I really do need Novigrad. So he wants the long round three, huh? All right. I really now I really need Novigrad. All right, that's no problem. <clears throat> Novigrad here would be like best case scenario for me. Get it? That's not it. No, that's a good card, but no. I didn't get it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This will be a little bit of a harder fight in that sense. I'm not playing Mystic Echo yet. Because A, I wouldn't know who to play it. Actually, I do. It probably, it probably would be the a Dwarven Mercenary or a Berserker. I know he has a Redanian Archer in his hand, which I can get rid of. It's not so bad. Um, any big units he tries to play, I could get rid of them as well. 
He doesn't have any Seize unit, but I think he has Purify. If this is the deck, the same deck list from the meta, I... Actually, wait. No, I don't know. This could be Charge, too. If he runs Donamir of Troy... I mean, I have some decent removal options. I have one, two, three. I have three cards I can remove. Which I guess should be okay, but I think it'd be best if I can get out um, a Dwarven Mercenary. <clears throat> What's he gonna do here? Sila? You can get rid of a Rarity Dwarf, that's fine by me. He does have an extra two damage that he can use. He might want to use his hero power. He might try to set up here. I have to know if he's running Aratuza Adepts, because that's who I'm saving these Alzur Thunder for. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I have a bit of a sore throat. I have to know. Oh, Vincent Mice? Okay, that's fine. Might not like me. But you sure as shit need me. You sure as shite need me. This is gonna get destroyed. Very easily, yeah. That's fine. He can clear he can clear all he wants, honestly. The trait is okay what they did. That's fine by me. Maybe he should have targeted my engine so he could actually destroy it. <laughs> Just in case it gets destroyed, I might as well use up its charges. <clears throat> I'm still ahead by quite a bit, actually, so... Zoltan is losing a bit of power here, which is not good. Redanian Archer, this is probably my AT target. Yeah, you're probably the AT target for me. Stars. He might he probably has another one. Oh, forbidden magic. Okay. That makes sense. Probably would have another one. No, just the Virginian Archer. Okay. So many of them. I Nothing I can do about this. What a As a poison. I can kill it with uh, my Great Oak. Actually, now that I think about it, he might not have, um, he probably doesn't have, oh, he's just gonna, is he gonna super boost it? No? Okay. He, he might have the Bloody Baron. If that's the case, then Gabor is pretty much gonna go back to zero. I want to get rid of that Redanian Archer, but... If it if he's if he boosts it twice, then I'm gonna have to play the great oak here. I'm still ahead by quite a bit of points, but like nothing's for certain. Ah oh, he knows? That sucks. He knows. He knows. Why he there's no other reason he would do that.
Well, I don't think he knows, but I mean, he probably knows, but I didn't imagine it matter. Whether he knows or not doesn't matter. He, he's expecting it for sure. If he has a card like Gigni, I'm gonna cry. Okay, so Bloody Baron was a card I was expecting. He might reset the Berserker, in which case that's fine. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm ahead. He's ahead. I'm ahead by only 15. That's not a lot. And I don't know what this last card is. If it's a card like Geralt Axie, I'm gonna cry. If it's if it's a Geralt card that resets, I'm done. I barely got away with that. A Karathi Heatwave, that's right. 